Hello and welcome to the 14th video in this series looking at an introduction to neural networks. So we're going to carry on straight from where we finished, well straight off from where we finished the last video inside nnet.py, so the neural net class, I'm going to remove this print idx, this print index, we will not want this printing all of these throughout the running of the program, otherwise the console will get very full. In this video then we need to start adjusting the bird class so we can set up the evolution part of everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is just below the speed property of the bird is add something new called fitness set this equal to zero and now we're going to add a new instance function called reset and as you can see all this reset function does is just reset the fitness time lived speed of the bird and everything basically back to a starting state in its starting position on the screen. I've said before that we're going to have a, a fitness function or just basically decide which bird was the best or how good each of the birds were. So we have to be able to set this fitness value. Now one of the things we're going to use is the amount of time the bird has lived but we also are going to use the distance that the bird was from the nearest gap when it died. So to do this we're going to have to write a function that just, I'm going to call it assigning a collision fitness and we'll put that above check hits because it's inside check hits that we're going to use it. Let's write the definition. As an argument we take p which is the pipe that we collided into so we can find out how far we were from the gap. So the first thing to do is calculate the gap. So we'll say that if the pipe is an upper then we need to use the bottom of the pipe to find out where the actual middle of the gap was otherwise the other way around. So now gap y will be the y position of, and now we just need to assign our fitness. And remember we need to reverse the fitness because we want to give a bonus for how close we were, not how far we are essentially from the gap. And that's all there is to that. So when the bird dies, the first thing it will get is a value which will represent how close it was to the gap. Now we need to use this function and we'll do this in check hits where we set the state to dead. We can now, because the bird has died, assign the collision fitness for the pipe that killed our bird. So now we've got everything we added uh, into the bird class that we need. We can reset the bird. We can set its fitness value when it dies according to how far or how close it was to the gap in the pipes. What we need to do now is set up the actual evolution part of our bird and we're going to do that inside the bird collection class. So we'll write a new function called evolve population and for now we'll, what we'll do is, we need to spell that correctly, what we'll do is in this video is we're just going to calculate the fitness of the birds, print the fitness to the screen, then reset our bird collection by creating a new random generation and then in the next video we'll bring together all of the code that we've written to do the actual mutation. So the first thing we need to do in this evolve population function is loop through all of our birds and we need to calculate their fitness. So we already have the fitness from the gap from the pipe unless they hit the floor in which case it's zero. So we'll say that the fitness of the bird, the time it lived plus the pipe speed, sorry multiplied by the pipe speed, so now we have the fitness for all of our birds, we need to sort our birds in order of fitness because we'll use that then for the selection. And if we, of course we sort in descending order. Now what I'd like to do is just print this list out to the screen for this video to check that uh, everything's working. And then for now what we can do is simply create a new generation which will select some more random birds. So we've got an evolution function here, it's not doing any evolution apart from sorting by fitness and creating a generation but we can check everything set up before we go for the full evolution. The last thing we want to do then is go into main.py and where we have this birds.create-new-generation we're going to change that now to evolve population. So we can go to the console now then and have a look at how all of that works and how many typing errors I've made. Oh, 
Okay, and you can see that as we've got the iterations dying, we've got the fitness now appearing on the screen of the birds. A lot of them very similar values because they're dying at the same time, but you can see there are some differences in the fitness there. I'm just going to press a key to stop this. I'm just going to go back into bird.py and actually just take the first few birds very quickly here, just the top 10 of the birds, and have a quick look at their fitness as well. Just run this again. Let's see what we get this time in the console. Okay, so one clearly was much better than the others being closer to the gap, and we can see now we have some kind of variability in the fitness. Good, so we're now at the stage where we're able to reset our birds. We're able to calculate a fitness, and the last thing to do then is to bring all of this together, bind it all together, and inside the Evolve population is to write the code to create our new population and that's something that we'll do then in the next video so hopefully this made some sense we're nearly nearly there comments criticisms welcome as always on youtube thanks for taking the the time to watch